All right, but let's tell these guys what's going on. So, Mama got mad at you for being a wild child in the house on a rainy day, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we decided it was best to come out to the shop so you wouldn't get in trouble, right? Yeah. Yeah. And when we got out here, we piddled around and found that our bug assault is not shooting, right? Yeah. So we're going to fix it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Dad, can I see? Can you see? Yes, here. You want to see the camera? Look at here. See it? Dad, put it back. Hold on, hold on. Let's put it back over here. We're, it's going to see what we're doing, okay? Okay? Okay. All right. It's going to do what we did. What do you mean? It's going to do what we want it to? No, it's going to do what we did first. What do we do at first? Well, it's going to say whatever we say. Oh, so like when we squeeze the trigger, it's going to shoot? Yeah. Is that what you mean? No. Well, what do you mean? This thing is going to do the... Oh, you mean the camera is going to say what we say because it's copying us right now? Yeah. Yes, you are exactly right. Dad, why are there two people on and it says blame? Blame? And right, right here. Oh, it says don't ride two people on there. Well, then why did you ride me and then you on? Um, because I fall under the daddy bought this four wheeler and he can do it if he wants to, Claus. Now, let's see what happens inside this thing, why it's broken. So this charges it, okay. What's that? What are those things? That's the sight. I didn't know these come from that. I didn't know. Here, move your hand so the camera people can see. They might want to see this stuff. Then who are they? <laughs> Whoever watches this video is who they are. I want to see who's watching the video. Well, we can't see them. They can only see us. No, I'm talking about we see them. Well, tell you what. Once I put it on the internet, I'll show it to you. And then you'll know. Okay? Okay. What's that fuzzy thing? What's that fuzzy thing, Dad? Huh? What's that fuzzy thing right here? That fuzzy thing that you're talking into is a microphone. And the fuzzy part makes it to where the wind isn't so loud. Because you hear how the wind's blowing outside? Yeah. Yeah. So Dad's shop can be noisy. So that makes it less noisy. Hmm. Maybe it is an assault system. Let's dump all this out. Well, I want to see why this sucker's not shooting. What's that hole? That hole where the salt goes in at. Why is this called salt? Taste it. Taste it? Mm -hmm. What does oh. it taste like? It tastes like salt. It tastes like salt? Then why did you say salt? Because it's salt. Hey, take it for a spin means go. Take it for a spin means go? Yeah. Yeah? Take, no. But what do you think in here if you had to guess? <gasps> a spring. Yes. Mm. That's exactly what daddy guessed was in here. <gasps> and I found the problem. It's broken. Looky there. Mm. I don't know, man. Can you fix it back? Mm, I don't know. It's under a lot, a lot of pressure. Can it go in there? I think I can fix it back. Okay. So the trigger mechanism broke on the inside is what happened here. So this piece goes here and this little doodad here catches it and that's part of your trigger component and it broke. So now we will take it apart and see if we can repair this There's piece. There's a spring under there. There's a spring under there, I know, right? Yeah. You probably ought to not eat all that salt, huh? Especially since it's been in this thing like a year. <coughs> There's a spring. 
I know, right? How do you keep saying that? Why? Because it aggravates you. I don't want you to aggravate me. You don't want me to aggravate you? No. Why not? Because it's not fun. Well, your mom aggravates me, and she thinks it's fun. And what does she aggravate you with? With her voice. Okay, so we are going to use maybe a screw, you think, to replicate this catch? What do you think? Think that might work? Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to screw this screw into here. Yeah. And we're going to epoxy it, so that it's, which is like super awesome glue. And then we're going to kind of grind it down to where it matches like it needs to. Okay. okay, think that'll work? Yeah. Why did you take all the pieces off? Well, I have to take all the pieces off to get the thing out that's broken. Whoa, oh, ah, ah. I see you. Alright, I think I got what we need, but... Here, I got a drill. You hit it, me. Mm. Get back down here in the camera. Here, you want to put the... You want to put the battery in the drill? Yes. You think you can figure it out? <laughs> like... Oh, my God. Here, watch. How about you turn it like that and try it? Okay. Here. <gasps> All the way. Give it a big push. Oh, here. Let me see. Give it a big push. Slap it. Oh, what a good slapper. What are we done here? Why, where do you want to go? In the house. What do you want to do in the house? Play. Get, get in trouble with mom? No. Wait. Are you going to be done? Dad. Hmm. Why do you put that inside? Well, because remember, we got to make it so that this thing catches. I know you had a lot of tools. You didn't know I had a lot of tools? You knew I had a lot of tools. No, I didn't. Okay, now we gotta clean this part off right here. I'm just gonna use, so I don't have to walk outside in the cold. I'm just gonna use my grinder. Instead of going to the other shop where the bench is. Dad, now look in here. I know, look in here. So this is making, watch, you want, let me show you how much noise this makes. Okay, man. Let's see if this thing works before we put a bunch of glue on it. What do you think? Ow, it's hot. You want to touch it? It's hot. No. You no. don't want to touch it? Okay. Dad, when I grow up, can I have the same tools that you? You know what? When I was a little kid who grew up, my dad gave me his tools. And he got too old to turn wrenches. So guess what I'm gonna do for you? What? One day when dad gets old, you are gonna get all of my tools. But guess what happens after that? What? Then whenever I break stuff, you gotta fix it. Okay. Fair enough? Yeah, but when You wanna I shake know, on it? But you got a deal? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so there's the bug assault repair, just to screw rounded or, or ground off in the areas where it would rub. It's definitely not a fine machine part, but uh, hot son of a biscuit eater. Um, it's uh, better than it was. And I'll put some epoxy in there to some JB Weld to give a little what better epoxy? grip. What? You want to see what epoxy is? Let's go get some epoxy. Are you talking to me? I was talking to the dudes on the camera, but I guess I'm talking to you too. You want to be high and balanced? Like this thing that I'm on. That translates to he wants me to jack him up on the jack. Jack me up, Dad. You want to get jacked up, boy? Yeah. All righty, righty. So at this point, I have just enough screws in this thing to make it work. Um, and, you know, since we're in this thing, we might as well talk about it. This is well built. 
the only engineering error I see in the whole thing is the actual trigger mechanism in the back being not quite stout enough. If it had been made out of solid plastic instead of this, whatever this is, this uh, truss shaped plastic, I think it would have held up. I think that's about all it needed. Or if this piece were a metal to plastic interface and this was metal inside the trigger, I think that would have worked well too. Um, but uh, they chose to go with this plastic. So yeah, the only, only engineering fail is that. Everything is well greased with silicone grease. Uh, there's a ton of screws holding it together. Everything is nice inside this thing. This is, this is a well-built toy for, for the price. I mean, it's 40 bucks, which is kind of, you know, it's an expensive fly swatter, but it's a well-built expensive fly swatter. Like I say, bug assault, if you guys watch this video, fix your trigger mechanism because that little thing on the end breaks. And I'll tell you how I broke it. If you own one of these things, I know how it broke. I left it cocked. They may even say in the directions to not do that. I don't have any idea. But somebody's going to leave it cocked if you got one. I mean, there's kids and, you know, it's going to stay cocked. You know, or if you're out grilling or whatever, you know, and you've got it laying there because the flies are getting you. You're gonna leave the bad boy cocked so that you can, you know, go straight to action, and uh, you know the flies aren't gonna stand around for you. So anyhow, enough talking about this thing. It's well built. Don't be afraid to buy one. That will break. Know that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if it shoots. There's still too much meat on that screw. Yeah, I believe there's still too much meat on that screw. Alright guys, this is my third time having this thing apart and fixing it. Let me see if you guys can see what I'm showing you here. Okay, so what I decided was that my screw was too tall up here needed some build up here to stop the sear or the catch the thingy thingy it's called a sear from over traveling down getting in the way of cocking so it needed some build up here and then in order to stop it from over traveling after the weapon is charged it needed that shelf here so basically as close as possible I had to replicate that profile which is right there that's the profile of the original weapon and as far as how I did on it there you go now I this the uh, the catch for the sear being further back shouldn't affect function it'll just it won't have quite as much power because this spring won't be as charged but I don't think it'll make enough of a difference anyhow let's get this thing back together for the 100th time and see if it works and if you're watching this if somehow I've magically been able to keep you interested this long and you're still watching this, first of all, you're an incredibly bored person. I'm sorry. And second of all, well, I don't know, but if there is even a second of all. Oh, I know. Yeah, so you're thinking, dang, that's a lot of work for a. $40 toy why not just get another one well you're right it is a lot of work and the only reason not to get another one at this point is to put it on the internet <coughs> so that should be enough to keep it together to test it let's see if it works ho 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 that click I've been waiting for that click for so long. So, 
here it goes again shoot you son of a oh it's got a little safety deal here ha 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 it works it works so now let me tell you how this thing works so this is a trigger safety this prevents accidental discharge during cocking okay this is a trigger safety so it's got two safety mechanisms so when you when you pull back here see how this thing catches here on the doodad pushes the doodad down here and locks your trigger why you wouldn't want to shoot right here i guess is just to make sure you don't get an accidental underpowered charge and then this trigger lock is to make sure you don't get in this trigger lock here is to make sure you don't get an accidental discharge and it just blocks the uh, trigger in the back back here um, and then this little piece goes here on the plunger so when you charge it it lets this lever move up and down and that catches a dose of salt out of the front um, other than that one little piece that broke for me I feel like this thing is made well I feel like it will last and you know what there's enough room back here Let's see if I can show you focus come on baby there's an I can't show you that there's enough room I don't want to shoot it too many times with the uh, without all the screws in it. Oh, I gotta see my trigger deal. I didn't have it all the way forward. So there, and there, and there. Okay. <coughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, there is enough room back behind here, and it was easy enough to take apart. That if ever I find myself getting another one of these, the very first thing I'll do is take it apart, take the time to put a screw into that um, sear block so that the sear won't uh, eventually pull it off. So now all I've got to do is put the screws in and put it all back together. There's a little tip there when you're putting this thing back together there's a little plastic clip under there that's it right there you can just pop it out it makes it easier to put the muzzle back together let's do this number here get it over that dang orange thing pop it back down Yeah, baby.